myself a new edition for my collection. Uh, this time I purchased it, purchased it from so many legs. Uh, I've never purchased a, a tarantula from these guys before, so this is new for me. I managed to get a Gramostola pulchra, the uh, Brazilian black. Uh, I managed to get an adult female. It's extremely, extremely rare to get um, an adult female Gramostola pulchra, Brazilian black. Because Brazil, years ago, they put a ban out of um, catching any wild caught Brazilian blacks um, in their uh, country, so you basically you, you can't get imported over to Europe from Brazil anymore. So this is the reason why you only see um, slings and maybe some juveniles very rarely in the hobby now. But oh, I'm so happy that I actually got a Grandma Stola Pulchra adult female because honestly I really I really did not feel fancy even actually you know waiting eight years for um tarantula to mature because it takes them eight years to mature to um yeah so I can't believe I actually found an adult female grandma stole at Pulchra. Uh, just a quick update on my uh, collection before we do the unboxing for the uh, Brazilian Black. I got myself a new stand, or we'd say a stand shelving, and I started putting all my collection down here and down here, and I'm going to put some down there and some on there as well and get rid of them. So I think that looks absolutely spot on. So I've managed to uh, expand my collection. I've got the uh, P Metallicas on here, and a few true spiders in that corner, and I've got my uh, OBT collection down here, the juveniles, the adult female, um, some more OBTs there, and also this one here won't stop scratching to come out, even though it's been out all the time. Yeah, so I've managed to um, Save some room. I've got a few more spaces now for some more inverts. And I've got one, two more tarantulas to uh, show you there. Actually, I've got three. There's one there that I'm going to uh, share with you in the next few weeks. So, yeah, one day I'll do a complete collection tour of every tarantula I own. So, yeah, that's really cool. One more thing as well to uh, clarify that I didn't manage to get to the uh, Western Invert Show down south in Bristol. Yeah, we had some um, car troubles on the last minute, so yeah, didn't manage to get there. Which would have been awesome to meet all you uh, guys because I was uh, planning on meeting uh, Peter Webster and um, Sidex. I was going to meet Sidex. Cool lad, there was loads of you going, I was going to meet you. But there's always next year, or the next invert show, so I'll plan for that ahead. And I'll get a hotel. So that's really cool, there's a big fly buzzing around here. Anyway, let's get this unboxing done of the Grandma Stola Pulchra, the Brazilian black adult female, shall we? That is the parcel from So Many Legs. Let's have a look. I've not been inside of it yet, so I'm just gonna uh, be straightforward and just open it. Get rid of all this newspaper. Oh, there. There we go. Carefully. I'm not sure how big this adult female is. I have no idea. That looks sick. Oh. oh, nearly lost the camera then. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Looks like nice packing from so many legs. Oh, this is a, a treat and a half. This is Grandma stole the polka adult female. You don't see these often. I'm telling you now. These grow 
to about 8 inches. So they're a big black tarantula. Can't wait. She's, uh, she's going in this. So I think that'll be alright for her. Yeah. Right, let's open this up. These are absolute softies. They hardly kick hairs. They don't bite. They've got fangs. They can potentially bite, but the softies. Yeah, I've never, never held one. I've seen adults in before, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh wow! Wow, you're bigger than I thought. So this went a cheap transfer to buy. And all the hobbyists will know that. This wasn't um, a cheap tarantula. Flipping heck. That is so nice. I know that people don't like people picking up tarantulas and stuff. Yeah, I know that. But what the thing is, though, I'm going to pick this up. Because it's such a softy. And it deserves handling. Just this one time. Just for you and for me. For my pleasure. So, wow, you're a big girl. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get myself a better angle here. This is uh, uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> Is it uh, focused? Yeah, it is now, isn't it? Wow, what an absolutely gorgeous tarantula. That is gorgeous. It's, it's like velvet and black, isn't it? Like a velvet. That is gorgeous. Oh wow, I'm so happy. Is it all losing focus again? Not losing me on this turn. She's big, isn't she? Big. Look at that. Wow, it's so nice. Let's see what she looks like without the torch on. There you go. You don't need a torch on, do you? It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy. Absolutely. This is probably the most placidest tranche you could ever get in the hobby. I'm telling you. If you could get over one, older one of these for your first tranche, I would. 100% recommend it. But as I said before, they're very rare. You'll have to get them as uh, spiderlings or maybe juveniles if you can. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's get this beauty in her uh, enclosure, shall we? Come on, girl. You're all right. Come on. I think uh, I might rehouse you. I think you're bigger than I thought. <laughs> I don't know, she's got plenty of room. You tell me what you think. She's got enough room to live in there. I think she's alright. I really do. One more look at her again. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a bit too small. Yeah, I think I might have to get her. Bigger enclosure for her. Wow, I'm so happy about that. She's gorgeous. What are you doing, Babs? Hey, what are you doing? 
You're always there scratching, you want to come out all the time. Just give over, yeah? Go and eat your salad. Awesome, absolutely gorgeous, so I think. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And, uh,